Hello, everyone. I am Chao Chuan. Let's draw an Odontocheles. Odontocheles was a turtle, but it had teeth. Modern turtles have no teeth as their teeth have degenerated. The teeth of Odontocheles are a feature inherited from their ancestors. Odontocheles revealed how turtles evolved their shells. Today's turtles have a carapace on the back and a plastron on the abdomen. However, as a primitive turtle, Odontocheles showed people that when turtles evolved a shell, the first portion they developed was the plastron on the abdomen. Odontocheles had such plastron on its abdomen and no carapace on its back. When drawing, we should find an angle to illustrate this feature, showing that it has a plastron on its abdomen and its back has yet to develop a carapace. Next, let's draw this Odontocheles. We first draw the head of Odontocheles. Odontocheles had a relatively short head with a pointed mouth at the front. The mouth can be drawn slightly open to show the teeth inside. Its eyes nestled in the front. Above the corners of the mouth were its tiny nostrils. Like many turtles, it had a somewhat thick neck. We can draw some folds at the base of the neck. Next, Let's draw its forelimbs at an angle that allows us to see its abdomen when looking up from below. Draw its two forelimbs. The forearms of the forelimbs would be relatively thick. Then, let's draw its fingers. It had five fingers with relatively long claws, and webs connected the fingers. Next, let's draw its very distinctive torso. There was a plastron on its abdomen, a unique feature of Odontocheles. It proves that many turtles developed the abdominal shell first. But it didn't have a carapace on its back. We draw a center line in the middle of the plastron on the abdomen, with the periphery turning around like this. Then, let's finish the fingers on the other side and its claws. Next, we draw its two hind legs. We can draw some folds at the root of its thighs. Its calves were relatively stout. It also had membranes on its hind limbs and claws on its feet. Now, let's draw its tail. The tail of Odontocheles was relatively long. 
We can draw some armor plates on the dorsal side of the tail, like the modern alligator snapping turtle. We can draw some bumps on the sides as well. Next, we draw its back. Its back was smooth and not covered by carapace. Some texture can be added to the knees and wrists. Finally, let's draw its eardrum. In this way, we've finished drawing this Odontochelys.